If you've got a rolled wireless Go mic and you try to connect it to your phone with the cable that comes in the box, you know what? It won't work. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to connect it. But more than that, I'm also going to show you a, a much better way of connecting this mic, a way that gives you far better quality audio. And if you stick around till the end, I'm going to give you my guide on what you need to do to get videos looking really professional and great sounding audio, particularly if you're on a budget and it's free. Anyway, out of the box, the Rode Wireless Go, it won't connect to your iPhone or your iPad, at least, at least not if you use the cable that comes with the mic in the box. I'll just switch cameras. If we look at this cable, or more to the point, the pins on the cable, if we look, you can see they've both got two black sleeves and that's fine for connecting the mic to your camera, but it ain't going to work with a phone. What you need, and this is the basic way of connecting your mic, and I'll show you a much better way shortly. What you need is an SC7 cable. On the SC7 cable, on the pins, the black one's got two black sleeves and the grey one, it's got three. The black pin goes into the Rode transmitter. And if you're using an iPhone, you're going to also need one of these little adapters. And the grey pin, the one with the three sleeves, that goes into the adapter. And then you plug that into your phone like that. And that's fine. You get audio into your phone. But it ain't the best way, at least not if you've got the Rode Wireless Go 2. The Rode Wireless Go, the original version, and the Rode Wireless Go 2, they're quite different. Now you may think, and a lot of people do, they think that the difference between the original Wireless Go and the Rolled Wireless Go 2 is that with the two you get two transmitters, while with the original you just get the one. Well, that's only part of the story. The Wireless Go 2, it's got better range. It's got software you can download to unlock additional features. But the biggest benefit, and I think this is the reason why the two is so much better than the original, is the fact that you can connect a device, a device like a computer or a phone via USB. If we look at the side of the mic, here you can see a USB port. And this, this is where you normally charge it. Now, I know the original also has a USB port, but, and here's the difference. On the original Wireless Go, this USB port, it's for charging only. Whereas on the Wireless Go 2, you can actually use it to send audio out. And the benefit of outputting audio via USB is the quality. The quality of the audio, it's, it's just so much better, particularly when you're connecting to, say, a, a iPhone or an iPad. So, if you want quality audio, USB, that's the way to go. But before I show you how to up your game with this mic, if you're getting value, hit the like button. Hey, maybe even push the bolt out. Hit subscribe too. Anyway, to connect via USB, Rode, they make a cable, a special USB cable to do this. It's called the SC15. But there's a problem. Well, there's actually three problems. First, the cost. I mean, this thing is like 25 bucks. And second, the second problem is you can never buy them. They're always out of stock. I've had one on back order for like four months now. And third, if you buy this cable, you can't do anything else with it. The only thing it does is connect the mic to the phone. And that's it. But there's a much better way, a better adapter that will not only do the same job, give you the same quality audio, but you can also use it for lots of other things too. In fact, you may even have one of these lying around already. The adapter I'm talking about is the Apple camera adapter. What you do to connect this, you take one of the USB charging cables, and remember, this will only work with the Rolled Wireless Go 2 not the original. You take one of the charging USB cables that comes with the wireless go to, you plug it into the transmitter like that. You then plug the other end into the Apple camera adapter and then you connect the camera adapter into your phone. And that's it. And if you did pony up an extra few dollars and you got the camera adapter that's also got the charging port, you could be charging your phone at the same time. And what's more, with this adapter, you can connect any USB mic to your phone or your iPad. In fact, I did a video that shows you exactly how, and I'll put a link up here, shows you exactly how to do it. And there you go. I hope this has helped you. So until next time, bye for now.